Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I am painting scenes from Ireland with gouache. The landscapes I am painting in this video are all inspired from a trip I took through County Clare last winter. There were so many stunning views everywhere, I think I could have stayed and painted for years and still not run out of things to paint. Irish landscapes have always been a very special subject to me. When I was little, I used to spend my summers painting outside my grandma's house in Dublin with canvases and paints from the Euro shop. Someday, I know I would love to spend a few months traveling along the coast with some canvases and just paint everything I see along the way. So for today's video, I am painting with Mia Hima gouache in my Strathmore Mixed Media sketchbook. In my last video, I tried out this gouache set for the first time and I really enjoyed it, so I've been painting with it quite a bit over the past couple of weeks. These landscape studies were really good practice for me to get more comfortable with the set. Currently, I'm in transition mode from summer to fall semester, so it's really nice to escape all that craziness and come back to the comforts of my sketchbook with some gouache. As with most of my gouache sketches, I worked on these paintings in a similar way. I sketched out my composition with a darker gray color and brush before overlaying it with color. I prefer to do my initial sketch with gouache instead of pencil because it keeps my paintings looser and I don't have to worry about covering up pencil lines or pencil dents in the paper. With these gouache landscapes, I'm not really worried about being an exact camera to the landscape. I'm more interested in capturing the essence or the main composition of the landscape. These first three paintings were done relatively quick in about an hour or so. In the beginning of this video, I showed some little snippets of some of the places my friend and I saw on our trip that inspired these three paintings. The detail in these paintings is pretty simple. I mostly worked with the same quarter inch flat brush and used a liner brush for the little details like the sheep or the buildings. I began by taping down a border and sketching in my composition before blocking in the main colors of the piece. The first painting is a sort of collection of the different charming aspects of the coast. The details in this painting are pretty minimal. I just lightly added some white and gray to create the little cottage homes in the background and the sheep. For the second painting, I painted a cliff scene. Like the first painting, I began with an initial gouache sketch before blocking in the colors of the sky, ocean, and cliffs. I tried to mostly work with the quarter inch brush again to keep the painting quick before going in with some minor details of the liner brush. For the third painting, I painted one of the little towns we passed through on our trip. There was this little bridge that overlooked the cliffs, and when you crossed it, you came into this super brightly colored town. All of the buildings were various shades of orange, pink, or yellow, and it was really neat to explore. The buildings in this painting were done with very simple blocking like the other paintings, with a few minor details added later. So for the fourth painting, I decided to fill an entire page. My friend and I were out on the burn, which is an area of Southwest Ireland near the Cliffs of Mower, and we climbed out on the rocks to watch the sunset. We were so high up above the ocean and the wind was so loud, you couldn't hear anything. And it was honestly such a surreal experience. I tried my best to capture that in this little sketchbook painting. The burn is covered in these insane rock formations that were created thousands and thousands of years ago. So I had quite the challenge of trying to paint their textures and colors in this scene. The water was also really difficult to paint because I was trying to learn how to paint waves that were super far away. 
With oil paint, you can sometimes imply this with a textured application, but since gouache is a really flat medium, I tried to use different tones of blue and purple and white to depict this. I ended up adding a person to this painting because I wanted to recapture that image I saw where my friend stood out on the edge looking out. I think adding a person gave this painting a better sense of scale, but I would love to repaint this scene someday on a larger canvas with oil paint. It sort of reminds me of Wander Above the Sea of Fog or one of those old classical scenes, and I would love to develop it even more than this little sketchbook piece. Also, before I end this video, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. I just passed 200 while recording this video, which is so awesome. When I started this channel, I never thought I would even reach 100, so hitting 200 has been really, really amazing, and I really appreciate your support. If you have any comments or suggestions or anything, please feel free to leave something in the comments below or send me a message on Instagram. I really enjoy reading what you guys send me. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one real soon.